we're gonna try out vinegar. Wait, it's number two. Yeah, it's number two. So what does that mean? It's, is it more acidic or less acidic than the milk? I think it's acidic. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hi guys, today we're gonna be testing out items that are liquid in our house to see if it's acidic or if it's basic. Yeah, so we gather around 10 things around the house and we're gonna test to see which one of these items are acidic and which of these items are basic. Well, how do you tell? Uh, is it this uh, acidic? I guess we'll find out, Ryan. How do you tell, you ask? Oh, you, didn't, you didn't ask, but how do you tell? <laughs> we got these strips called universal indicator, so it's gonna indicate to us if it's acidic or basic. We're gonna dip it in different liquids and it will change colors, you see? So, uh -huh. anywhere within these colors, one through six, is acidic, and if it goes from eight to 14, if it's any of these colors, is basic. And then if it's green, it is seven, which is neutral, okay? Ooh. Ready to test them? Yeah. I'm gonna test orange juice first to see if I'm right. I think it's acidic. Acidic, okay. So we're gonna take some of orange juice. We just need a tiny it's bit. Is that enough? Yeah. Here is your universal indicator. Dip it in. Now we're gonna take it out, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I did say dip it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder which one it is. All right, which one is orange juice, Ryan? Which color is it oh, close to? It's three. Three, okay, so three is on the acidic or basic? Acidic. Acidic, right here. Good job. So orange juice is right here. Yeah, so about number three, good. Next, I'm gonna test this baking soda. All right, before you test, can you give me a guess? Acidic or basic? <laughs> I feel like it's neutral. It's neutral? So Ryan thinks it's gonna become this color here for neutral. All right, let's see if Ryan is right. What do you guys think? I don't think it's acidic, but I don't think it's basic. Really? Okay, let's try it. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Wow. Okay, so because it's not a liquid, you know what we have to add to make it a liquid? What? Take a wild guess. Waiter. Waiter? Waiter. <laughs> a waiter? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a waiter here. <laughs> what? Water. <laughs> Usually pure water is neutral. Yeah. But because a mommy had used some of these water, it probably been exposed to the air. And so it probably a, bit, a little bit acidic, but it's okay. It'll still work. I think that's good. Okay. Agitate, agitate. Don't forget to keep agitating. For 10 hours. 10 hours later. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Let's see if Ryan's right. Ryan is this neutral. Let's see. Whoa, it's green. Okay, so let's match it up. Okay, let me dry it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, where does it go? Where does it go? Like here? You think so? Maybe. It's either basic or neutral. I'm guessing it's basic. Okay, so basic it is, so. Basic. Basic. <laughs> we got baking soda. Go. So we have one acidic so far and then one basic. Next liquid I'm gonna test is soda. There you go. What do you guys think? Is soda acid or hmm, base? I wonder. What do you think, Ryan? Probably acidic. Acidic, okay. Here's your universal indicator. Let's see what it indicates. It indicates an acidic. Acidic? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's like the same as the orange. Oh! Ah. <laughs> same, huh? Yeah. Here it is on top of the lemon, no, not lemonade, <laughs> orange juice. So they're both acidic. Next, we're gonna try out Tums. Do you know when you use Tums? When you're Tums. <laughs> <laughs> has a stomach ache. That's right, when your tummy hurts, right? Yeah. So, let's figure out, is the tum an acidic or basic? What do you think? Probably acidic. Acidic? Okay, so look at the name of Tums, Ryan. It says, a tum is an anacid. What does an mean? Think about the word ant, like anti-bullying, anti-social, what does that mean? It means Against. Against, so against acid. So what's the opposite of an acid? And basic. Basic, but we'll see if it's right, okay? Yeah. 
So first, because this is not liquid, you're gonna have to put it in. You have to put it in water. Water. Good. Ryan's pouring some water. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Ryan, bonus question for water. Do you know the chemical compound of water? Uh, what? What is the symbol or <laughs> of water? H2O. H2O. Good or aqua. Or aqua. <laughs> Here is a Tums for you. Okay. It Tums. Have fun. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. So, so we might have to crush the Tums. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds later. Now we put in the universal indicator. And it says it's an eight. Okay, so let's test it out against the chart. Okay, let's see. So it's none of these. I think it's this one right here. It's eight? Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Okay, there we go. Tums is a basic. That's right, yeah. So when you have a tummy ache, it means your tummy is maybe too acidic, so you want something to fight against the acid, which is something basic, <laughs> to neutralize it. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna try some milk, my favorite drink in the world. Okay. Good. Oh. And now the universal indicator. What is it indicating? It's indicating this one, I think. Five or four, they kind of look exactly the same. Oh, kind of between a four and a five, right? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean for milk? It means it's a acidic. Acidic. So far, these three things are acidic, and these two things are basic. Next, we're gonna try out vinegar. <laughs> I think it's acidic. You think so? I think it's number one or two. You think it's that strong? Yeah. Okay, let's see. That's enough, there you go. That's enough. Oh. Now I'm gonna use a universal indicator. Wait, it's number two. Yeah, it's number two. Well, you're right, Ryan, yeah. So what does that mean? Is, is it more acidic or less acidic than the milk? Uh, more acidic. That's right, more acidic. So here is neutral, neutral is seven. So the further you go away from neutral this way, the more acidic it is. And then the further you go away from neutral this way, the more basic it is. Vinegar goes right here. There you go. So which one of these are the most acidic? Vinegar. Vinegar, because it's further away from seven. Good job. And the one that is the most basic is basic soda. <laughs> basic soda? Yeah. Baking soda. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna test out ketchup. Put some ketchup. Perfect. We have to actually put a little bit of water in. Agitate. Agitate. <laughs> so what do you think it is before you use the universal indicator? Probably... Basic. Basic? Okay. No, I think acidic. Acidic. It is acidic. Okay, which number? Let's see. Wait, it's number three? It's another three? Yeah. Well, we have three threes. Yeah, if you guys, if you notice, you've been eating and drinking a lot of things that are acidic, correct? Yeah. Next, I'm gonna test out Alka-Seltzer. Okay, do you think Alka-Seltzer is acidic or basic? Probably basic. Basic? Yeah, so you also use Alka-Seltzer if you have like a tummy ache. So it's also an antacid. Whoa, but I like Alka-Seltzer, look how it's and bubbles. Yeah, put it in. Hey, Whoa, it actually didn't change color. Really? Interesting. Hmm. That's an interesting. Oh, wait, no, I think it's drying. Because oh, it, so maybe you have to wait for it to dry. Yeah, because it kind of looks green. Okay, All right, I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Hmm, let's see what it is. Oh, I think it's a number nine. It's a basic. Okay, yeah, it's a nine. So is it a weak? Basic or is it strong basic? It's a weak basic. Yeah. And there you go. Next, I'm testing out lemon. So you know lemon is really sour. Mm -hmm. So do you think lemon is acidic or basic? Probably acidic. Really? Okay. It's probably gonna be a three, two, or a one. That's strong? Yeah. Okay, let's test it out. Okay. 
don't want to use two hands. Put it inside. It's probably acidic. It's number two. It's that acidic. Whoa. Oh yeah, you're right, Ryan. So it's pretty strong, huh? Yeah, we can put it right after the vinegar. Now the last thing we're gonna try is some toothpaste. Ooh. I'm pretty sure we need to put water. That's enough. Agitate. Agitate. Agitate, it's probably done. Time to use the universal indicator. Wait, what do you think it is? Probably neutral. Neutral? I mean, no, not neutral. I meant a basic. A basic? Okay. A basic. What do you guys think? Okay, you gotta wait for it to dry. Wait, I, I think it's already green. It's getting green, but it's uh, still wet, so we'll wait for it to dry a little bit. But yeah, it's already turning green. So it's either a neutral or a basic. Okay. Seven or eight. Let's wait a little bit longer. Let's see what it is. I think it's an eight. An eight? Yeah. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means it's a basic. Basic, here you go. Here is your lube of toothpaste. Basic. A lot of things that you drink and eat are acidic. Acidic. So that's dun, what. Dun, dun. <laughs> Since a lot of the things that you eat and drink are acidic, how do you get rid of it? Like, what's the best way, you think? You eat and drink and put on your teeth basic things. Basic, right. So that's why you have to use toothpaste, and toothpaste are basic to get rid of the acid. Ah! <laughs> Before we end the video, I want to ask you, Ryan, you know how we always do the baking soda and science experiment video? Yeah. According to the chart, which one is an acid and which one is the base? So the baking soda is the basic. Uh-huh. And the vinegar is the super duper acidic. Okay, so it's kind of the same as the lemon. So do you think that if we replace the vinegar with lemon juice, will it still work? Hmm, probably. Okay, let's find out. Instead of vinegar, we will use lemon juice because it will take too long for us to squeeze, and we're gonna use the one that they already squeezed for us. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's go like that. Yeah, good idea. Is that enough? A little bit more. Good. Put some blue in. All mixed up. Perfect. Okay, guys, here's the baking soda. Do you think it's gonna work? Maybe. It works! It's just a little bit less than the vinegar, but it works! Yeah. Oh, wow, look at it coming out. That's cool! Yeah. So you guys should also go out and try your own experiment. There's so many other items that you guys could test yeah. that we didn't test, like a soap or honey. What else can you think of? Or mayo, or, or mustard. Or ocean water. Ocean or salt water, good idea. Yeah, if you guys test it, let us know. For now, thank you for watching. Bye, remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye.